dear students myself dr malik kaulan s biradar assistant professor in mathematics government first year college masurakal today we are going to discuss in session 7 the title is some results on eilerian graph okay in the previous class we have discussed the characterization of eilerian trail eilerian graph so those results we have discussed already now we consider some results some additional results some examples where we can apply those theorems for particular examples or particular graphs let me consider one example first show that the graph g shown below is eilerian and find the partitions of edges into cycles i have i will consider one graph g suppose this is the graph okay this is one graph so this is the graph g okay now show that the graph g given in this table or on this plane which are drawn is eilerian i am find the partitions of edges of g into cycles okay so that is the question first of all let me verify whether this graph is eilerian or not so one of the results says a graph is eilerian if and only if degree of every vertex is even so if i label the vertices as v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 okay v5 v6 v7 v8 okay so we, we have labeled the vertices now if you observe the degree of every vertex 1 2 3 4 even This is also even degree, even degree. Every vertex, if you observe, degree of every vertex is even. So by one of the theorems, what we can say, since the every vertex is of even degree, so therefore this graph G is eilerian. Okay. Now, if it is eilerian, it should be possible to partition the edges into. cycles if i label the edges as e1 e2 e3 e4 next this will be e5 e6 e7 e8 e9 e10 e11 so once if it is even it should be poss possible to partition the edges into cycles so consider so this is one cycle okay consisting of the edges e1 next it is containing e2 next it is containing e3 and e4 so this is how we have partition these set of edges as one cycle then similarly if i consider the second cycle so this could be the second cycle so therefore the edges are say e5 e6 next e7 and e8 so this is how we have partitioned the these edges into another cycle and one more cycle is there that is c3 the edges of the cycle are yes this is another cycle containing the edges uh e9 e10 and e11 so therefore this is how we have partitioned the edges of this graph into cycles so the another characterization of uh, eilerian graph says once if the graph g is eilerian then it is possible to partition the edges into cycles so both the theorems we have verified or we have applied for this particular example 
okay now we consider another example A second example the example is give an example of an eilerian graph with six vertices which is also a bipartite graph so what is the question give an example of bipartite graph with six vertices which is also an eilerian graph bipartite graph with six vertices you have to draw or you have to give an example of a bipartite graph with the six vertices and it should be eilerian okay so you know already which graph is eilerian a graph is eilerian if and only if degree of every vertex is even so that should be bipartite you know already what is bipartite graph a graph is said to be bipartite if it is possible to partition the vertex set capital v into two disjoint subsets v1 and v2 such that every edge of g joins a vertex of v1 to a vertex of v2 so that graph is called a bipartite graph okay so now if i consider two vertices out of six vertices i will consider two vertices in one set the remaining four vertices if i consider in the another set so i am considering a complete bipartite graph complete bipartite graph is also a bipartite graph okay so therefore what is a complete bipartite graph if i join i will join this vertex with the one vertex of the other set like this okay similarly i will join this vertex with all other vertices of the another set okay so this is how these are the vertices of one set v1 these are the vertices of the another set v2 in which every edge joins a vertex of v1 to a vertex of v2 and it is of course it is a complete bipartite graph complete bipartite graph is also a bipartite graph so it is called k24 okay k24 this is an example of a bipartite graph with six vertices which is also an eilerian graph because if you observe the degree of every vertex 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and these two, these are the vertices of degree 2 it implies degree of every vertex is even so this is an example of a bipartite graph with six vertices which is also a eilerian graph let me consider the third example find an eilerian cycle of the graph shown below we will take one example you have to find out the eilerian cycle of that graph and also you have to find the partitions of edges into cycles so one graph is given here this is the graph okay they mask such examples we may view one example or one graph they may ask you to find the eilerian cycle in this graph then they may ask you to partition the edges into cycles okay this is one example say z so this is a given graph from this graph you have to find out the eilerian cycle and you have to partition the edges into cycles okay now first you have to label the vertices as v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 v7 v8 v9 okay now is it eilerian if you observe the degree of every vertex either 4 or 1 2 3 4 5 6 either 2 or 4 or 6 so therefore degree of every vertex is even so therefore this graph is an eilerian graph okay once we say eilerian graph you have to specify the eilerian cycle of that graph eilerian cycle means it is a closed trail containing all edges of the graph so you have to start at one vertex v1 okay now v1 to v2 so if you want you can 
write in this way as E1, then you have reached to V2, then you will label this as E2, then E2, then you have reached at uh, V3, then this as E3, then you have reached to V4, then this as E4, then you have reached to V5, here this is about E5, then you have reached to V6, see this is E6, next you have reached that to V7, see this is about E7, then you have reached that to V5, next uh, it is E8, then you have reached that to V8, okay, then this is our E9, E9, you have reached that to V9, then you may come like this, it is our E10, then you have reached that to V5, repetition of vertex is allowed, but no it should be repeated, that is the speciality of an LED mirror. Then again, say this is our E11, E11, then E11, okay, then you have reached that uh, V3, okay, so this is our E12, E12, then, uh, okay, the possibility E12, uh, I think if you reach it to E12, yes, of course, we are at the next stage, then it is, uh, again, you have reached that to V9, then it is our E13, then we have reached that V1. So, this is the Eilerian cycle. Eilerian cycle C. So, we have started at V1 and ended at V1. So, it is an alternating sequence of vertices and edges. Okay. So, this is the Eilerian cycle. So, next part is, you have to partition the edges into cycles. Okay. Now, see, uh, this is one cycle. Okay. This is a cycle. C1. So you can say the edges are A1, E2, E12, and E13. And uh, we will consider the second cycle. Say this is our second cycle. Okay. Now the edges are say E9. Okay. You can write E10, E8. Doesn't matter. Okay. E9, E10, E8. Or you can write E8, E9, E10. Does it matter? Next, this is another cycle. C3. Now the edges are, you can say E3. Next, E4. Next, E11. And there is one more cycle. So this is the last cycle. Okay, so I shall write here. C4. The edges are E5. E6 and E7. So this is how we have given the Eilerian cycle as a sequence or you can say alternating sequence of vertices and edges and we have partitioned the edges into four cycles. Okay. So this is the solution of the question which they have asked. Now let me consider another example. That is the fourth example. The question is, for which positive integers m and n, k m n is Eilerian. For which positive integers, integers m and n, comma, k m n is Eilerian. This is the question. So you have to specify for which positive integers K M N is Eilerian. Okay. So now we try to analyze this. Okay. Suppose if M is one, N is one. What happens? You know it is K M N. It is a complete bipartite graph with. Uh, 
M N vertices. So M at the top and N at the bottom. Okay. So M one N one. So this is the graph. This K one one. One vertex at the top and one vertex at the bottom. Here, if you observe, degree of every vertex is odd. So therefore, it is not eulerian. It is not eulerian. If I consider M as one. n as 2 in that case what happens so it is k 1 2 one vertex at the top and two vertices at the bottom now if i join because the complete world bipartite law definition says each vertex of this set must be adjacent with every vertices or every vertex of the other set so it is k 1 2 if you observe the degree here though it is even but these two vertices are of odd degree so it is not Eulerian. So what we come to know that for m equal to one or n equal to one or two, so it is not Eulerian. It implies m and n must be greater than one. So therefore, we consider greater than two, greater than two. Then only it may be possible to have an Eulerian graph. So so therefore, uh, in this. case it is not eulerian so we consider the other case case 2 so this is the case 1 of course so what we will do here of course this is a general one this is a general one so now we consider as a case 1 let both m and n are cos greater than 2 and suppose both are odd both are are odd what happens in this case both are odd what happens you know already there are m what uh, m vertices at the top this is one set v1 this is the another set v2 here there are how many vertices odd number of vertices odd number of vertices Here n is also odd, yeah, odd number of vertices. The definition of complete bipartite graph says every vertex or every vertex of this set must be adjacent with all other vertices of the other set. That is a complete bipartite graph. Okay, it implies if I consider any vertex here, one vertex here there are all odd vertices, odd number of vertices. It implies if I join. With all other vertices, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, odd. So, what would be the degree of this vertex? Odd it is, isn't it? So, therefore, in this case, when uh, both are odd, odd, so it is highly impossible to get an Eulerian cycle because Eulerian cycle it implies degree of every vertex must be even. So, in this case, it is not possible to have the degree of every vertex. even so therefore in this case it is not possible to get an eulerian graph so we consider another case case 3 sorry case 2 case 2 so in the case 2 we consider m or n is odd either m or n is odd of course both are positive integers greater than or equal to 2 either m or n is odd okay as i said we are going to divide the set into two disjoint subsets suppose if m is even suppose m is even m is even so there are even number of vertices if n is odd if n is odd what happens this vertex is adjacent with the odd number of edges it implies degree of this vertex is Or so it is not possible to get an Eulerian cycle. So it will, it will not be an Eulerian graph. Okay, if V one contains odd number of vertices, if V two contains even number of vertices, okay, what happens in this case? Again, one vertex is adjacent like this. Okay, you may say that degree of this vertex is even, but if I join like this. now you can observe the degree of the vertices in the other set 1 2 3 1 2 3 so it implies this vertex is also 
adjacent with all other vertices of the other set. So if, we, if any one is odd, so there is a chance of getting an odd vertex. So in that case also, it is not possible to get an Eulerian cycle. So therefore, that graph is not an Eulerian graph because one of the theorems says a graph is Eulerian if and only if degree of every vertex is even. So in this case also, it is not possible to get an Eulerian graph. Okay. So now we consider the case three. Case three. in which both are even, M and N are even, if both are even, what happens? Again, in this set, even number of vertices, in this set also, even number of vertices. Then every vertex, either in this set or in this set, is adjacent with even number of vertices. It implies in both the uh, sets, every vertex is of degree even. So therefore, it implies, suppose if I consider two vertices, because M is even, N is also even, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now this vertex is adjusted with all other vertices. Again, similar, this vertex is adjusted with all other vertices. Now if you observe, degree of every vertex, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, here, 2, 2, 2, 2. So therefore, in this case, only, only in this case, we will get an Eulerian graph. So what was the question for which positive integers the graph, the complete bipartite graph KML is Eulerian. So only in case where M and N are even, in that case only the graph KMN is Eulerian. That's it. So this is how we have analyzed for what positive integers the complete bipartite graph KML is Eulerian. I hope you have followed all these uh, problems, the solution of these problems. So next we will consider one more example, the fifth example. Prove that every block of a connected graph is Eulerian, then G is Eulerian. So what is the question? If every block of G is Eulerian, so that, so that, if every block of G is Eulerian, if every block of G is Eulerian, then the graph G itself or then the graph G is Eulerian. I'm sorry, I have made a mistake in writing the spelling of Eulerian graph. Okay. So, prove that if every block of the graph G is Eulerian, then you have to show the graph G is also an Eulerian graph. How to prove this result? Proof is very simple. Suppose G has only one block. Suppose G has only one block. Then G itself is a graph. The block itself is a graph. For example, this is the only one block. Suppose this is the only one block, B1. Then this block itself is a graph G. If this is an Eulerian graph, then obviously G is also Eulerian. So, in case if only one block is there and if that block is an Eulerian block, obviously the graph is also Eulerian. Suppose there are two or more blocks. Suppose there are two or more blocks in which every block is Eulerian. Suppose this is one block. This is an Eulerian block. This is another block, which is also an Eulerian block. This is the third block, B3. This is the block, B1. This is the block, B1. And this is the block, B2. And this is the block, B3. 
now you can see every block is eilerian every block is eilerian if every block is eilerian we should show the graph is also eilerian what happens here if only one block is there then there is no cut vertex at all if there are two blocks definitely there exists a cut vertex okay definitely there exists a cut vertex if there are two or more blocks there exists the cut vertices so this is the cut vertex c1 similar this is cut vertex c2 in general say ci is the cut vertex of the graph g okay apart from the cut vertex the remaining vertices are all even vertices okay now only thing is that we have to show every cut vertex is of even degree every cut vertex is of even degree if we if we if we are able to show this one it implies any arbitrary cut vertex is also even it implies apart from the cut vertex all other vertices are even even the cut vertex is also even and it shows that the degree of every vertex is even and obviously it will be an eilerian graph okay now if i consider a cut vertex c1 okay so c1 lies between two blocks two blocks okay now if you consider this as a block see the degree of one block what happens here because two blocks are attached with a cut vertex okay here it contributes to here also it contributes to if there is another block attached with this okay again it contributes to isn't it so in this way if we add the degrees of the cut vertices ci okay okay then suppose this is an arbitrary definitely it is even it is even even one of the results says the sum of the degrees of all the vertices is even so obviously if we analyze in this way the degree of that cut vertex is also even it implies the degree of the graph g in which it may be a cut vertex or it may be any other vertex every vertex is of even degree is even it implies the graph in which every block is even degree of cut vertex is also even it implies every vertex is of even degree so therefore by one of the theorems the graph g is an eilerian graph so this is how we can analyze the result okay so in this session uh, we have considered some examples where we can apply the results which we have proved in the previous class that is the a graph is eilerian if and only if degree of every vertex is even if a graph is eilerian then it is possible to partition the vertices sorry edges into cycles so this is how we have discussed with uh, some examples i hope you have understood all these uh, ideas so with this we conclude today's lecture okay, thank you